I want to talk about Kanye West. Part of me still wonders if the old Kanye will ever come back, if he will recognize that what he's doing currently is extremely hurtful and bigoted. Uh, and it seems like we're getting our answers more and more. The old Kanye is gone forever. He He's... He's doing so much that you can't come back from these kinds of things. For example, um, he was on his way to Mar-a-Lago, and look at who he was with. That is booger-eating Nazi Nick Fuentes. Kanye West is now chumming it up with an open white supremacist, somebody who denies the Holocaust, who called for a dictatorship, and now he's just like, yeah, going to Mar-a-Lago with him, teehee. I just, I don't know what to say about this. And then when you look at this, so uh, first time at Mar-a-Lago, rain and traffic, can't believe uh, I kept President Trump waiting. And I had, I had on jeans, yikes, as if having on jeans is like improper attire for this orange clown. Uh, what you guys think his response was when I asked him to be my running mate? Um... What do you think? I mean, maybe he's trolling here, but do you honestly think that Trump is going to be your running mate? I mean, he's he's out of his mind. He is so lost, and there's just no coming back from this. You are hanging out with an open white supremacist. And what like what's next for you? I mean, how do you even go lower than this, aside from actually calling for a genocide? I, I feel like that this is it. This is the bottom of the barrel, right? Although it is America, so he can find some way to uh, surprise me. But Kanye West is so wrong that even people like Keemstar, who I don't know if he's ever had a good take, is absolutely correct here. He says, Kanye West is gone forever. He's hanging out with Nick Fuentes. No wonder he's been hating on Jewish people lately. God, this is just sad. Yeah, and that that's a... Uh, I don't want to say this, but Keemstar is making a good point. Did this friendship with Nick Fuentes come after he started saying anti-Semitic things? Or did he start saying anti-Semitic things because he was friendly with uh, Nick Fuentes? It, it's just, he's gone. This is it. And apparently... The uh, sycophants, the incel army for uh, Nick Fuentes, they see uh, that Keemstar is uh, seething, apparently. It's funny, I, I got uh, raided by Groypers on one of these streams before, too. And they were basically, I forgot what they said exactly, but a bunch of them were calling me um, the F-slur, but they were censoring themselves. And it's just so weird to me, because if you honestly think I'm the F-slur and you want to call me the F-slur then just say it with your full chest. But like, how are you going to throw me in a blender and do a genocide against me and my people and, and queer people if you can't even call us the F slur without censoring yourselves, right? So, I mean, this whole uh, this whole uh, movement, whatever you want to call Nick Fuentes' uh, baby Nazi army, it's a fucking joke. And Kanye West is like, I'm going to enlist his help for my presidential run. I, I mean, again, I don't know what they're doing together, they're meeting Trump together. Genuinely don't know what the fuck they could be talking about, but I'm sure it's some really sane stuff. But he's also um, aligning with Milo Yiannopoulos for his 2024 campaign, who, by the way, is pretending to be ex-gay, and he now came out as a flat earther. So he says, uh, I don't know if this is on Truth Social or Telegram, but either way, this was shared by Patriot Takes. Uh, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child... I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. The earth is flat and space is fake and gay. Now, it's Milo, so take anything he says with a grain of salt. He could be trolling. But if the implication here is that you grew up and as you became older and got more wisdom, that's when you realized that the earth was flat. I just feel like um, I don't know how to even respond to that, my dude. I, I just I don't know how to respond to that. Um, but again, it's Milo Yiannopoulos, so he could say anything, and I don't think that it would surprise me. Same thing with Nick Fuentes, because again, Kanye West has scraped the bottom of the barrel in terms of shitty people. At this point, if Kanye West could resurrect Hitler and have dinner with him, he probably would do that. That's how far gone he is currently. He's just, 
there's no coming back from this. Now, aside from him being an anti-Semitic piece of shit, he's also just a shitty person, reportedly. So this is courtesy of Ken Meyer from Mediaite. Adidas staffers claim Kanye played porn in meetings, showed off explicit photos of Kim, and company ignored his toxic behavior. So, I mean, you're just you're showing naked pictures of your wife. Did she consent to this? Uh, do the other employees feel comfortable with you playing porn in meetings? And why why would you be I, I just you're so okay. You're having these meetings presumably to talk about your shitty clothing that you want to hawk through Adidas when you had that uh that partnership. At what point would porn be necessary? Are you just trying to create like an ambiance? At what point do you need porn in a professional business setting? Like that just goes to show you he's nuts. He's out of his mind, okay? A new report explored the testimony of former Yeezy and Adidas staffers who said Kanye West created a highly sexualized and abusive workplace culture throughout his partnership with the company. The rapper, known as Ye, has been under public scrutiny for weeks over his various anti-Semitic comments, and he has seen major financial losses as Adidas and other business collaborators dropped him over the controversy. The scandal has also drawn a great deal of focus on West's business behavior, not only because of his feuds with various companies, but also their reported revelations that he's been pushing conspiracy theories and anti-semitism for years apparently he wanted to name one of his albums hitler it's so bizarre so in 2018 west took a meeting in chicago with a young creative who considered it a job interview the potential staffer described feeling on edge when upon entering the room he found west dancing around to his own music on full blast talk about sucking yourself off jesus christ uh, it's like if you if you came into my house and I'm watching TV and you look up and it's the humanist report on TV. That'd be fucking weird and, and just cringe. But he's sitting here dancing to his own music. What a fucking weirdo. The creative, mem uh, the creative remembers West finally turning his attention to the interview and nonchalantly pulling out his phone. My wife just sent me this, West said, according to the creative. On West's phone, the creative claims, was an intimate photo of Kim Kardashian. So you're sitting there. Okay. I can't even imagine this. You're going to an interview. You are going to meet with Kanye West, right? This fashion designer for a job. And you're probably so excited. And then you see this motherfucker sitting here dancing to his own music on full blast. And then when he sees you, he's not like, hi, I'm Mr. West. He pulls out a phone and shows you a picture of his naked wife. Who does that? Who does that? I'm sorry. People are going to try to defend him and say... Oh, well, he has mental health issues. A lot of people have mental health issues. A lot of people suffer from bipolar disorder. They don't do things like that. I'm sorry. He doesn't get a pass because, oh, well, you know, he does harmful things because of mental health issues. A lot of normal people suffer from mental health issues, and they don't behave this way. It's inexcusable. What, because he's a celebrity and he's rich, we get to give him a pass? No, I don't think so. Uh, my wife just sent me this, Wes said. Um... It was very revealing and personal. The creative tells Rolling Stone, I didn't really react. A source close to the creative recalls being told about the photo of Kardashian hours after the meeting. At least one other time in 2018, West showed an explicit video of Kardashian to members of the creative team at Yeezy, according to a person who says they saw the video. I mean, talk about a complete violation of, of trust uh, for your partner. It's, it's insane. I mean, some people, they don't know any boundaries. Um, it's just, it's so weird. Um, that was hardly the only story about Wes showing porn to his business, business partners. He would be in a meeting and he'd be talking to you and he'd rattle off in his laptop to play a porn video. The employee tells Rolling Stone and he's like, I know it's uncomfortable, but I kind of need this in the background to keep me focused. And you'd be like, uh, okay. So, okay, we have a little bit more clarity. He's not playing porn to create this ambiance. Maybe, you know, he likes porn music. No, he has to have porn on to help him focus on something else. Folks, we are living in idiocracy. Mike Judge's comedy, Idiocracy, if you haven't seen it. Um, if you watch it, you're going to see a lot of parallels with 2022 America but you might even think the folks in Idiocracy are actually more intelligent and more uh, reasonable than Americans in 2022. I, I just, I, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss here. 
uh, and I didn't talk about this on my show, but Kanye West had the audacity to say this. So after he made the despicable comments about George Floyd, he uh, compared himself to George Floyd saying this. So when I said that and I, and, I, and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what, by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. He has the audacity. You have the nerve to say this. I just, I don't know what to even think of uh, about this anymore. Um, one thing that's clear is that Kanye West is not coming back. The old Kanye West. And maybe this, you know, um, anti-Semitic, unhinged version was just always there waiting to be activated. But either way, the old Kanye West is not going to come back. At least the one where I could enjoy his music. Now, whenever his song comes on on my playlist, I've got to skip it. I just can't enjoy it anymore. And I, I grew up essentially on Kanye West's music. I was listening to it a lot when I was a teenager. And he was my favorite artist for a period of time. But now I just I can't enjoy the art anymore when I know that it's coming from someone who is so just bigoted and so hateful and so idiotic. I mean, I don't know what the fuck else to say. He, he's off his rocker and he needs to seek help. But instead, he's prepping a 2024 presidential run and he's recruiting the likes of uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and I guess Nick Fuentes as well. But again, don't really know why he's meeting with Nick Fuentes. All I know is you're not coming back from that.